What's up, y'all? Shalom. Wong. All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles of GMS. That ass bus. But, uh, yeah, because we just ran into some of IUIC's people. They didn't really talk to them, though. They, they didn't want to talk to us. But I was going to tell y'all, I had a dream the other night that, uh, that the missiles, I ain't had a missile dream in years and years. You know what I mean? I had some years back. It's been a minute, but I had one of the missile dreams. I seen the destruction. And I seen the brothers up in the uh, GMS camps, all group wings like uh, angels and started flying. That shit was crazy. <laughs> That's a hell of a dream. Yeah, they literally had wings and they was flying through the missile smoke. You know how you see the smoke in the missiles? Right. Oh, yeah. Isaiah 40, uh, is that important? Where they grow up like eagles and they fly, you know where that's at? That's what the scripture that brought to my mind, you know, in the kingdom. Oh, let me get one. That's it, going into those spiritual powers, because we can be like angels in the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have that eternal life. We're going to have that power. We're going to be like angels. Didn't the Lord say even our, uh, that we're going to be changed and we're going to be made like him? And that's what I seen. It, it was crazy looking, too, the way I see it. Jeremiah 40, 49, and 22. Uh, behold, he shall come up and fly as an eagle and spread his wings over Basra. And at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pains. That spiritual power the brother talking about, spiritual power. That they ain't going to, people in the purple ain't going to receive no people. Uh, spiritual power, man. They're they gonna receive a missile. They're gonna receive that, uh, like Daniel. I only just get that Daniel. Uh, go ahead, get, get that Isaiah. Get that Isaiah. I'm gonna get that Daniel 12. Yeah, Yeah, because remember, I told you in the dream I had, it was it was like primarily, you know, the brothers who with GMS and teaching the same thing, similar things, you know, I mean, well, exactly the same thing. It wasn't everybody, it was just, it was like that small number. Scriptures say, uh, "Bless be the poor, blesses the meek." You know what I'm saying? We faint. We out here fainting. Man, you, you about pass out. You can't take it. This world is so fucked up. You can't take it. You feel like you about to just, just die from misery. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead, read that again. So he gives power to the faint, to them that have no might, he increases strength. So yeah, so the Lord going to all these poor people out here, they they crying to the Lord. The Lord going to give y'all power. You know what I'm saying? If you call in the name of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, go ahead. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the hour shall renew their strength. They ain't that wait upon the hour. Ain't no revolution. <laughs> nah, it ain't, it ain't no nah. Ain't no revolution. I got scripture for that too. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, you ain't going. We ain't going to get out of this captivity by our own power. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. But they that wait upon the hour shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not play. That's what I seen. They shall mount up with wings of eagle. I seen that dream. I seen the missiles hit. Just a couple nights ago, I had that dream. I seen the missiles. You know the the, the mushroom clouds, and I seen brothers with wings flying. It was bugged out. It looked crazy as hell. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't had a dream like that in a minute. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I wasn't drunk or high or nothing when I had the dream. Vision. I know when you get the little vision dreams, but they don't happen all the time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you're right. Like a lot of times you mean your dreams you be flying. I can actually fly. Covering everything. Like swimming. It's like swimming through the air. 
A lot of times you don't know it. Hey, well, I ain't gonna go too deep on it. But yeah, you can be doing some astral projecting in your sleep and not even know it. You know what I mean? This is Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of God. That's not trying to, <laughs> trying to make an entrance. Make a grand entrance. Hey, but like, I'm gonna get this while you, uh, uh, oh, here it is. 12, because uh, this is going to the kingdom, uh, Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time, shall Michael stand up. The great prince was standing for the children of thy people, which is the children of Israel. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. In that time of trouble, there's never been those missiles. There ain't never been no new thermonuclear warfare all over the planet like that in history. You know what I'm saying? Well, I know people will say there was nukes in the past. <laughs> bug out, some bug out shit, man. Yeah. That's some people that are uh, uh, David Ikes and... Right. Uh, That's what we saw about before you came out of the truck. People charging people that don't that have to, just ignorant to a lot of this shit, man. And they can sell them that. What we're talking about finding... They find it, uh, uh, technology up in Alaska, and she, you know what I mean? That the crystal kind of pyramids shit. and crystal right, skulls. Right. Crystal skulls. And all yeah, that. pyramids in Antarctica. Right, hey, there right. might have been some bugged out shit, but you can't prove none of that. Right, that's just crazy, man. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. And, at, oh, go go ahead, ahead, and at that time, that people shall be delivered, every one that should be found written in the book. That's that book of life. You know what I'm saying? And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some to everlasting life, some to shame and everlasting contempt. Right, so you got a lot of brothers, the, the men of the Lord, they don't pass away. They in the spirit world right now, but in the kingdom, you know what I'm saying, the Lord gonna bring them back. Just like you got a lot of demons out here, they're gonna die in that fire. And the Lord gonna bring them back. But some of them are gonna wake to that everlasting life and some to everlasting shame and contempt. That goes with that dream too, because it was only a small percentage of you know, uh, the people that got them weeds like them, uh, them angels. Yeah, they're gonna be shame. Remember I told you that I was going to dream? I had a dream when I was kicking it with Peraza in the kingdom, right? And Peraza, this dude in Columbus, he teach, uh, he teach some Israelite stuff in Columbus. But he kind of bugged out though. But I had a dream we was in the kingdom and he kept apologizing. You know what I'm saying? It reminded me that Daniel Twelve was like, man, I'm sorry. I, I knew I shouldn't have been doing that. That was some bullshit. He just kept saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It just sound like uh, Rob the taste of missing. Hey. I was born into the kingdom. Rob's ain't missing. I'm just going down here. Rob's ain't missing. Yeah, yeah, that's the point. Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Yeah, what's the secret place of the Most High? That's being in the Spirit. When that Holy Spirit hits you. And, and the Holy Spirit ain't supping with everybody. It's only supping with a, a small few, you know, only with the elect. Go ahead. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power. In him will I trust. Yeah, so we're going to trust in the Lord. Not in ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Or Jesus. Jesus. Or Trump. All Donald Trump. Obama. Man, you still got people, man. They, they, <laughs> that, that's that great delusion right there. Every four years, y'all put all your faith and trust into a politician. How can you really going to help you? You know what I'm saying? They'd be obsessed with that shit. They'd be all over Facebook just saying, we got to get him in office. We got to do it. They'd be out here laboring too, playing on flyers. They'd be, they be having riots and rallies. They be, you got Democrats battling the Republicans at uh, Berkeley University, beating the shit out of each other over politicians. You seen that Berkeley, the war of the Berkeley? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit is crazy. That one bit, you see that bitch got punched in her face? <laughs> that was a good video. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power. In, in, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Yeah, the noise and pestilence, that's those missiles. But soon America's going to get hit with missiles. 
Oh, I just came out of the news today that uh, Kim Jong Un over there in North Korea is flying satellites over the United States. He gonna get, he, they say they think he's playing it on you, uh, hitting the United States with an EMP, an electromagnetic pulse. And if America gets hit with an EMP, say goodbye to your electricity, say goodbye to your internet, ain't gonna be no food in the stores, everything's gonna shut down. It is going to be nothing but chaos and savagery out here. What was that? What did it say about the scriptures? Is it going to be empty storehouses? There's going to be empty store. Ain't going to be no food in the stores. And it's going to get savage out here. Y'all thought it was savage right now. Y'all ain't seen savage. It's, it, it's about getting murderous out here. Just wait. Just wait for it. It's coming. Behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth, and he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. And yeah, that's going to be an astonishing sight, ain't it? Right. And one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another. Now you see that, man. Go ahead. One place against another. One place against another. Go ahead. And one realm against another. Right. And that, that oh my fault, but you see that like all the division is going out here. Like we just said, Democrats versus Republicans. They having these rallies, people beating the shit out of each other. You got Antifa. You seen the Antifa, the anti-fascists? I was watching Antifa Columbus. They trying to get like the, all the communists of Columbus to go beat the shit out of Republicans. <laughs> they wearing face masks, That's covering cool. their identity. Those hydro provocateurs. Yeah, cops getting hit with Molotov cocktails. You know what I'm saying? That's coming too. It's already here though. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna get that division gonna get worse and worse. Yeah. You got something called the alt right. The alt right is pretty much the new Republican Party, which means it's like oh, it's cool to be a racist again. You know what I mean? The, the, the white people they got no white guilt no more. They just being openly racist. It sure is. And it's, cool. and, and it's now the new trend. That's cool. As that, that's the new. That's same what, thing with the black community, black conscious community. Yep. Same you know? shit. Same shit. Same shit. Different twists. You can see that division. Right, right. IUIC against the truth, GMS. Yep. It's nothing but division. You know, nothing but and and that's, that's a fulfillment of, of, yeah, the Lord said he came not to bring peace, but division. <laughs> so really, you can blame that on the Lord. That's right. Yeah, you got a problem. Take it over him. And one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another, one place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another. And the time shall be when these things shall come to pass, and the sign shall happen which I showed thee before, and then shall my son be declared, whom thou sawest as a man ascending. It, it is some, who's the son? That's Yahweh Shah, the one they ignorantly called Jesus. You're going to see him ascending, meaning coming out the clouds, out of those chariots. That's where you get that song, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, coming to carry me home. That's that chariot. It was some same chariots that guided the Israelites through the Red Sea with Moses. And those say chariots, you know, say to kill the Pharaoh and his army. That's what that's what they call a so-called UFO. And there's gonna be uh, legions of them coming out of the sky, and y'all gonna bug out when you see it. Yeah. Hey, cause that it goes hand in hand with the Exodus. Cause there's gonna be a new Exodus. Cause it was a chariot of the Lord that, that guided the Israelites th through the wilderness. It is going to be the chariots of the Lord is going to guide the Israel, Israelites out of Babylon, which is America. Um, back to Psalms 91, verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His trust shall be thy shield and thy buckle. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Hey, the arrow that flieth by day, that's the missiles. Go ahead. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction, the pestilence that walketh in the dark. That's some zombie niggas. <laughs> how, how, you know, you know that, how they gonna do it. Yo, they you gonna, know how they gonna do they it. They gonna get evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they gonna, but their numbers are gonna grow on that day too. Sit back getting drunk as fuck, listening man, getting entertained man. 
You know, when it says thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, man, we're gonna be chilling, man. Yep. Chilling, man. We're gonna be chilling. You know, the Lord with, with many us. bitches that's gonna come. You know. Oh yeah, that's true. A complete number of women that's gonna come looking for some safety. Yep, they we're gonna, gonna be getting our rod looking in every damn thing. You know. <laughs> Shit. Hell yeah. While their next door neighbors eat each other. You know, eating their babies. <laughs> Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. That is crazy, though. That pestilence that walks in the darkness. Yeah, that's some deep shit. That's crazy. That's some deep shit. That's the way it's worded, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is them right here. This is that pestilence right here. Yeah, they walk in. Hey, they walk in the darkness, yeah, too. Yeah, they already. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how the spirit <laughs> works. <laughs> they get darkness. Hey, that's the popular. All we're gonna look at, uh, that's the simple one. I, I said that, what did I say? Look, it's not slightly simple. I said it wrong. No, it's not slothful, I said it wrong. It's the simple one. It's the popular. What's up, popular? Popular. Yeah, it's the popular. We the Akim, they the popular. I said, popular is just another word for the two thirds. You don't want to be part of the two thirds because the two thirds are going to eat missiles. They ran over my tanks. <laughs> yeah, y'all ain't never seen no tanks rolling down the street. Wait, you're going to see it. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Right, because you're going to see death all around you. You know what I'm saying? You're going to see your neighbors dying. You're going to see everybody dying. That a lot of your family might die. You know what I'm saying? Just because you love your family and everything, doesn't mean the, the Lord is going to protect you because they was wicked. You know what I mean? I mean, you, you pray your family make it right. I don't know. Some people pray, you pray the Lord take them out. That's part of the bitterness. Yeah, like it's the bitterness. Family, man. Wicked as fuck, man. Yep. And, you, and, the, and the real man of the Lord is going to say, oh, man, family wicked as fuck. Yeah. That devil. That devil. But you got you know? some guys that you know, they can't accept that. And I know they are, man. They a bunch of anacondas, man. Maybe anacondas. But really, that's just a fulfillment of the scripture because the Lord said a man's enemies shall be those of his own house. And they the main ones that come against you. Go ahead. You ain't saving your mom. You ain't saving your sister that you love. Even though you love them and stuff, hey. Hey, this is, don't go to that one scripture. It said you got a disobedient son. <laughs> so to kill him. Stone that nigga with some bricks. Now that's crazy. Right. Hey, the Lord wrote that. Hey, that's an all still book. Right? Yeah. That's a man that hates women. They brother. still do that in the Middle East. I know, I know, I know. That's Sharia law ain't no joke. I'm going to throw this book. I'll be right back. Sharia law ain't no joke, man. That's some vicious shit, man. It ain't nothing but the Lord. It ain't nothing but the way that the Lord is thinking, man. Written in the East. It don't matter, like I said, if it's your family or not, man. Son, daughter, whatever. Take your ass out of the vicious fucking way. Looks like the brother in the video got his head blew off. the truth, man. He is strict, man. He's an all still strict man. I mean, King David's own son, Amalek, was a demon. And he got put to oh, death. Yeah. You know what I mean? David didn't want to see his son die. He got hit. Then he hit a hung on a trigger. He, he's right. He got, yeah, his hair got caught. Right. And he, they said that he was the, the most beautiful yeah. man. David whatever. went for a minute. Yeah. Of course, that was his son. Right, right. <laughs> Man, that's <the> <laughs> you know the most I love David too. Oh yeah. He took his son. Hey, that, David suffered a lot, man. Yeah. Oh, can I finish with that? Let me show you something. I got 20, I got 200 scriptures on deck. <laughs> For real. Go ahead, come out with the great reaper. Job 5, 19. It says, he shall deliver thee in six troubles, and in seven there shall no evil touch thee. In famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, and neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. I said at destruction of famine, we gonna laugh. Yeah, yeah. When we see people out here starving, bro, we gonna be laughing. Hey, bro, let me pour you one. Yeah. Let me pour you one, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we gonna, somehow we're gonna get that wine. Yeah, yeah. 
Hey, on that day, we're gonna have that choice yeah. wine too. That's right. We're gonna That's be right. getting Esau's good, good shit. Good liquor and all. Yeah, the good, good liquor and all. Good liquor and all. Oh, you gonna see them fight for that head to eat that head, man. Can you see some crazy shit? Yeah, they're gonna be eating brains. They gonna be cracking the skull open just to get the rest of the, the brains and juices out of there. They gonna be cracking the bones, getting the marrow. It's like the marrow. Yep. I mean, that sounds crazy. But that, that's, I mean, when there's no food, what do you think people gonna do? They gonna get desperate. And then trust in the Lord, bro. And they love their life so much, and they're gonna, they didn't, they're gonna starve to death. And they wicked as hell. You know what I mean? They, that's gonna happen, man. That's right. It's happened many times in history already. <laughs> it happened in ancient Israel. We're laughing now. We're laughing now. Yeah. When, when the, wasn't it when the Babylonians seized uh, uh, Jerusalem? They was eating each other? Oh, yeah, Venezuela. Oh, yeah, you're right, Venezuela. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh yeah, over the camera, over the fire. I okay. couldn't even watch that shit, man. That's crazy. That shit was. That shit was. Yeah, those are Israelites. That's terrifying, man. Jinx. I don't watch the. I don't watch the doctor walking into it. So this one bitch, I guess she got a mental breakdown. White bitch, she like saw the turtle, and then it cut off into another scene. Come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels 
charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. So we might have angels protecting us? Damn! <laughs> Damn! Then uh, I heard a brother, uh, the elder Tahar said his, uh, his woman had a dream or something years ago when she seen the angels uh, holding brothers in their wings. Like, while was hitting the angels protecting them. You know what I mean? That's or crazy. something like that, but you can envision it, man. Yeah, sure can. See, we see, right, we can envision, we can envision this actually happen. But if you ain't got that spiritual eye, man, this is nonsense. You're speaking nonsense, you know. People, like I said, they're going to bug out when they see an angel. If you see an angel, you you, gonna, you might pass out. Man, they're going to shit on their social media yeah, see the chariots. Right, your whole bowels are empty when you see that chariot or that angel. They're going to be right there, too, man. Like, damn, man. Shine, they're massive, giant. Ooh, what was we was reading that one? Uh, Ooh, they shine like a barrel. <laughs> that that bright blue cosmic uh, glow. What scripture was that? When you be out here teaching and you out here, you know, in the right spirit, you can't be in the wrong spirit, but when you in the right spirit, you got them angels out there looking out for you. And sometimes, you, you know, and of course they show you proof, but you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you'll see some shit, man. Sometimes you be out there teaching, you see a chariot fly by. It was just crazy video. Um, it was a brother from Atlanta. As soon as the brother said chariot, See in the background, chair, right part. Yeah, they probably didn't see it until they watched the video. Yeah, that's why they uploaded it. Yeah. We said Angel, one of those two. What's that? Synagogue of Satan? That's the so called Jew. You know who that is? The synagogue of Satan. Uh, it's, uh, what was his name? Giorgio uh, something or other? Wait a minute. Or, no, never mind. You know who uh, controls the world? Yeah, like banks. Yeah, yeah. yeah, who owns all the banks? Rats. Look, there's Huntington Bank. What's their symbol? Rats control. It's a six-point star. Who uses a six-point star? Yeah. The so-called Jew. Yeah. That's yeah. who controls the earth. Yeah, but they're actually not Jews. They're Edomites. They come from... Uh, hey, get that one. Revelation. This is Revelation 2 and yeah. The uh, Bolsheviks, man, the Russians were the original ones that started the propaganda on the Jews and stuff. Like no, actually, the Bolsheviks were Jews, though. So-called Jews. When you look the at Russian the... Guys? They won't really rush them, though, because you got to understand the Jews, the fake Jews, they come from uh, the Khazarian kingdom. The, mm -hmm. That's right there in Russia. Yeah. So they have subverted, they overthrew the uh, the uh, the kings and all that. Well, they, you know, go ahead, and they set up that communism. That was, that, the Bolsheviks were all so-called Jews. Oh, yeah. Hey, read, read this for me. Listen to this. I know that works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. So, so, so you're talking to us, we're, we're, uh, we're poor, but we're rich, because what's real riches? It's wisdom and knowledge. This is true, right there. And I know the blasphemy of them that would say they are Jews and are not. The blasphemy of them that say they are Jews and are not. That's these, these devils right here. Go ahead. They are the synagogue of Satan. They're the synagogue of Satan. We're the real Jews. Is that, yeah, because you know the scriptures say that the Lord, the one they call Jesus, was a dark skinned man. Boy, he was he was uh, basically Arabic, wasn't he? No, he wasn't nah, white. He wasn't black. Ishmael was a whole different. Race. Yeah, they said he had woolly hair. Ishmael, he had them uh, Arabs don't have woolly hair. Yeah. They got you know straight black hair. Yeah. But he had the, the, the scripture uh, repeatedly says that the Lord and even the Most High got woolly hair. You know what I'm saying? We can get that too. Identity thieves. What is it? Also, the the, this is the oppressor right here. They say technically the Scottish are uh, ancient Greeks because I guess bagpipes came from Scotland and all that other stuff. Well, it, it 
they're all related because a, a, a lot of the Greeks were Israelites too. The Scots. It was like the twelve tribes. Because Israel scattered among all the all the earth. So, yeah. Oh yeah. So that's why you have Paul in the New Testament teaching to the Greeks, the so-called Greeks, because they was actually the ones he was teaching were actually Israelites. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Just like the Irish, we know the Irish were Israelites. Because the ancient name of Ireland was a Hibernian, which comes from the word Hebrew. And the Scots and the Irish are the same people. Yeah, the Celtic. Yeah, the Celts. Hey, check. Yeah, King James was Scottish. Yeah, King James was yeah. King James was Israelite. He was King James uh he was a black man. Yeah. Yep. Did you guys ever get into uh was it the uh, ancient civilization of uh, Bush and uh yeah, uh, we, we know all about Kush. Uh, you know who King Igazana or Igazana? He was the one that, uh, what is it, brought Christianity into Africa? He was one of the first guys who was there. What's his name again? King uh, Izana or Izana or something like that. I've read about it, I don't People remember the name. Yeah. yeah, but you got Israel mixed among Kush, though. Right. But the Kush, the, 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 an actual Kush, I know, is a heathen. It's supposed to be, uh, I think it was like modern day Somalian Ethiopia. Now. Right. And then, right. uh, and I think even then they just sing it from the new or something. I think new Nubians were Israelites. Nubians were Israelites. I knew they took over Egypt for a while, man. They had a short little reign, but yeah, yeah. they managed to overthrow the Egyptians and they kind of ruled over them guys for a little while. So he got a little interest in history. Oh, I love history, man. Yeah. But you know, uh, the real Kushites though were heathens. Right. Heathens meaning uh, multiple gods. Because according to the scriptures, the Lord is only coming to, to deliver the nation of Israel. Yeah. But our people scattered down there. Well, you know Nimrod, right? I've you know, heard of that. Nimrod, he's the one that built the Tower of Babel, right? Babylon, yeah. The, the tower, you read the Tower of Babel, ancient Babylon. Ancient Babylon was actually the kingdom of Cush. Oh, shit. Yeah, because the kingdom of Cush used to be gigantic. Yeah, yeah. At yeah. one time, they had ruled the entire earth under uh, Nimrod. And yeah. Nimrod was from the from the line of Cush. You know what I'm saying? Where you, you go? You ever, you ever notice, too, they, they did it like a derogatory thing? They pushed him to Nimrod. Uh-uh. So, well, are you that crazy? Why is God sitting on the ground? Who? Why is God sitting on the ground? That's God. That's Jesus. Why is Jesus sitting on the ground? Why is Jesus sitting on the ground? What the fucking religion you got? Get on, get Revelation 1. I don't want to listen to you. Revelation 1 and 14. Why are you so angry? Hey, well, you did. I got everything in. Who the fuck did it? 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 Sir, you got your back to Jesus. Walk away from Jesus. Can I read the scripture? No, you can't. I don't want to listen to you. You don't believe the Bible. Believe in the Bible. Hey. Oh shit! All right, Revelation one and fourteen. His head. Antichrist. Right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Antichrist. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. That's why you can't accept the Lord being a black man. You know? How about you? You know the fucking? How about you read the Bible? Hey, how, how do you know how to speak, man? Did John read? Did John see the Lord himself? Hey, this already told you. Did John see the Lord himself? Hey, look at the fucking horn on your fucking head. <laughs> Listen, did John see the Lord himself? Yes or no? Did he? Yes or no? Right here. Did John see the Lord himself? Yes or no? I don't know. I was there. Can I? Can I? Can I say that John was there? Hey, you don't know that why you open your mouth. Let the Bible speak. Let the Bible you have no respect the for the Bible. Bible. It is the you Bible. You never will. You just came to my mouth for you. Jake, right? Take your ass down the block unless you're going to listen. Well, wicked ass Jake. You, you understand? Listen to the Bible world. speak. A devil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, man. Ought to be ashamed of yourself. Come, Come up here hostile. You guys will right. not be ashamed of yourself. Okay, let me read this real quick. Hey, his, his, his feet were like... You know the his they say I God is the reason why. His feet... His head and his hairs were like white wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like a too fine brass, and it got burnt in the furnace. What'd you say? And his you want to do something? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to read you a scripture. That's what I want to do. What the Bible? <laughs> what you going to do? Whoop my ass? <laughs> what you going to do? Whoop my ass? What you going to do? I ain't going to do shit but read you some scriptures, devil. Devil. Satan. <laughs> You know what? You come up here talking shit, bro. Right, right, right. We, right. Didn't, we ain't being mean to you. You come up being an asshole. Well, you guys want to be... What you a fan of? What you a fan of? Hey, the, 
Fuck that. Yeah, I'm definitely. proud of you. Right. America gonna destroy this place you uh, you fall for. No, the Most High gonna destroy this America, place you fall for. America is a kingdom of Satan. No, it hates America. The Lord is gonna destroy America. It's destroying it now. It's, it's destroying like it now. Clowns. It's destroying it now. It's people like What's it like two trillion dollars to build the infrastructure it's back up again? Clowns like you. Huh? What's America? Uh, twenty trillion dollars in debt. Hey, you know, twenty trillion dollars in debt. Homosexuals can get you know? married. Right. Fucking animals. Fact. Child molester. Messing out men that read Bible. Child Michael's molester. Shit. What the shit is that? You know, transvestites, homo. That's so bad. Sodom and Gomorrah. That's that right to be a faggot? You know? Hey, I fought for this. You fought for faggot. 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 I fought for them. So I fought for you guys. What does the you Bible say about faggot? Bullshit. You fight for me because I'm still oppressed here in this hey. fucked up nation. You know, we we I'm still oppressed here. Ain't we all? Well, what you so proud like? You a proud fool, though. Yeah. I hear arguing. We <laughs> fight for America. I hear arguing. What did America do for you? You representing America? Fucking A. All right, no wonder you failing. We, we fight for the kingdom no of heaven, the Lord's kingdom. This ain't the Lord's kingdom. This ain't the Lord's kingdom. America was founded by a Freemason Behold, devil worship. The eyes of the Lord power are against the sinful also, kingdom. Uh, back at and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. He did that man a heart attack. You actually recopied it. All that bacon grease up in his heart. He got his knife on him like he's hard and shit. You know what I mean? That was my dude. He was stoked out something about it. He was stoked out. Pretty much man. Religion, sad thing is, it's like, why is there enough religion to incite war but never enough religion to incite war? Fuck you, fuck you. I'm fine, we got interrupted though, bro. Oh, it's all good, yeah, man. Yeah, man, that came through. Mormons. Hey, they, hey, take care, guys. He wanted to fight for these goddamn Edomites, man. That's yeah. what he was fighting for. He didn't want to fight for Israel. Fight for what? What? He ain't want to even fight for himself. Fight for these goddamn Edomites, man. Shit got worse. I'm That's why they living in the suburbs, living good. good. That's That's clever on use taxes and shit. Take, they sucking the blood out the inner city and take care of them devils that living in the suburbs, man. Sucking the blood of the Israelites. That's too far. That's these rats. Twins. And Jacob Esau. That's where the white race comes from. Esau, he was the forefather of the white race. And Jacob was the forefather of the dark race. But not the Africans. Get the Bible out. Get the Bible dictionary. Read it for him. I am not that part. What's up, man? All right, we're going to turn it down here. We're going to turn politician. What? I prefer to hang on to my soul. I heard that. He said he prefer to hang on his soul. Right. Yeah. Okay, man. Yeah. 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 No, it's like that these motherfuckers are selling their souls, man. Yeah, man. Blood sucking devil. What man do left though, man? Yeah, it was good. What man do left? He, he sure kept. Damn. Don't want. Don't want. Talk more shit to him. He might have stayed. He's ready to fight you. What are you fucking motherfucker doing out here? <laughs> Put the Lord down there. He's trying to be like retarded and shit. Yeah, retarded, yeah. Hold up, dude. He's going to reach for his knife. Oh, I ain't worried about that, man. That's the last thing I'm worried about. I'm going to work on my side. Well, it's nice. Nice, though. What's that knife with me? I don't It's disrespectful. We're talking about the scriptures just coming out. I don't know They all do that. What you going to do? What you going to do? Yeah, shut up, man. What you going to do? What's that? Take your ass down the street. <laughs> That's why you gotta come out here and teach, man. Or you don't get experience stuff like that. That's right. That's having fun right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You came up against it before, though. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm thinking. I was like, that big old fat pork, pork, pork gut is. <laughs> you know, that, that pork is full of swine's foot. Yeah, I mean, that gut. Yeah, I fought for this country. I love America. I I love America. <laughs> What's that, uh, Romans 2? Is that Romans 2? Uh, 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 I'm sure for the Holy One. It's John 2. It's John 2. The am for the Holy One. First thing. Oh, the zeal. That's oh, the zeal, yeah. The zeal. Been there. Okay, yeah, that is uh, Romans 10. Romans 10. Brethren, yeah. my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. Yeah, because we be praying that Israel gets saved, man. People think that we just some assholes, but we be praying. We don't want to see, you know what I'm saying, all these people get to... Actually, at the end of the day, all Israel going to be saved, and we be praying for that. So I bear them record that they have a zeal of the most high, 
but not according to God. Right, because like that old fool right there, he, he believed in the most high and all that. He, he believed in sweet Jesus. You know what I'm saying? But not according to knowledge. Because he already thinking that you know, the Lord looked like a uh, looked like a sodomite with long hair. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And he don't know the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? That's like that's the majority of our people. They they got the you go to their house, they got praying hands on the wall. By the way, the praying hands when they do that, you see the bottom of it be like, they always got the pinky like that. They always do that. That's the vesica Pisces. That represents the pussy. They don't even know that. You go to your grandma's house, she got the Ten Commandments in the bathroom, in the living room. Why you doing that now? Oh, uh, you know, fuck God. <laughs> the Lord will beat your ass, so go ahead and do that. All right, for real. But, uh... Because <laughs> people petty like that. They really are. They're petty like that. Like, won't nobody Anything figure it out. Anything to score. But yeah, but you know, like our people, they love... They really believe in the Most High, but it, not according to knowledge. Because in their spirit, they know the Lord's rear. Lord is real and you ain't gonna tell them that the Lord ain't real you know what I mean but they ain't got no knowledge they don't know about what the Lord look like they don't know about who the Lord's people are they don't know that none of the commandments you know what I'm saying to them man the Lord can be any nation right he can look like any fucking thing you can call him anything what Nate one of Nate's boys say you can call him Yoga Yoga or some shit like that yeah that's fucked out right that's some crazy shit right there man I'm surprised he ain't got uh, hit by a bolt of lightning oh, Most likely saying the last, so we can all see him. He gonna televise it. Yeah, it's gonna be live. <laughs> right. It's gonna, they gonna have some, yeah, they gonna be meeting yeah. with the president. Yeah. They gonna be, <laughs> that would be IUIC to do some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They gonna get invited to the White House. Yeah, yeah, and you know they'll go. Cause, so yeah. We make it, we build it, here's your building. It is on BET, how crazy yeah. is that? Sure man, if you want BET, man, something wrong. Yeah, you done made it. <laughs> you made it. Cause we we know that's that's straight uh, uh, controlled by the so-called Jew, man, by Esau. Any, anything that's on that television is controlled by Esau, and don't just anybody get on it. You know what I mean? So ain't no truth from every station. Every station, man. Yeah. For for they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. Right, because you go to a uh, you go to the uh, church's potluck dinner. They get they got swine in uh seventy five percent of the dishes. You know what I'm saying? You can't get mashed potatoes. They put those little pork pieces in it. They put pork in everything. But bacon bits, you try to eat a salad got bacon bits in it. It's like damn, can I get one thing with no pork in it? Got it in the casserole and everything. Burger bacon. Yeah, yeah, they put bacon, they fried it in bacon grease. Mm -hmm. They cooked it right along with the uh, with the burgers, right along with the sausages. You know what I mean? Like my dad was like that. Anything my dad ever cooked, he cooked it in bacon grease. He's like, you just throw one strip of bacon in to get the grease going. That's the old school way. I'm like, damn. No wonder you got heart problems. You know what I'm saying? Because you know that pork, because the scriptures say don't eat pork. That's Leviticus 11 and 7, right? And you know it ain't good for you. Because all my family, that's all they ate, man. They all dropped dead of heart attacks by like the age of 50. You know what I'm saying? But that was their favorite food. They love that bacon, the bratwurst. And all it does is clog up your arteries. Your body can't digest it properly. But you can't tell that uh, to your grandma or your uncle or whoever, all your family. They don't want to hear it. They being ignorant, so we took for They really are full of shit. Full of shit with that belly flopped over. You know. Yeah, when your belly's that big, you are literally, uh, excuse my language, full of shit. Your intestines are backed up. Uh, literally. Yep, that's why you get so big like that. You wa walk around with pounds and pounds of uh, <laughs> shit. The shit just shit. trapped up inside your body. Fecal, fecal matter. Fecal matter. Doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> excrement. It ain't excrement yet because it's still in there. It's Poo. increment. Poo. <laughs> Scat. Scat. Oh, that, that's the term they're more familiar with. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Scat. Yeah. Dung, dung. Yeah, many dung. names, bro. Many names. So that's, that's why it's good to eat healthy, man. You got to keep a good diet. Eat your greens. Drink some water. Feels good. Oh, man. I was at a doctor uh, with Johnny uh, a couple oh, of weeks man. ago. He was getting some, some tests or whatever. You know he all unhealthy. But I was up and I overheard this doctor talking to this big old fat lady, right? <laughs> 
and she's like, don't you drink any water at all? She's like, I mainly drink Mountain Dew. <laughs> but uh, she's like, but I eat a lot of ice though with my Mountain Dew. Like she was trying to, you know what I mean? Right, right. These people don't drink water, they drink Mountain Dew all day. And, and you wonder why there's so many people that got health complications. They wouldn't even need no Obamacare or Trump care or none of that bullshit well, y'all ate. They repealed that shit. Yeah, they don't well, repeal that shit. I'm glad they repealed it. Only reason they need health care in the first place is because y'all don't know how to take care of yourselves. Hey, like, uh, there's a, uh, in the ancient world, a famous physician was named was, uh, Hippocrates. And, he, and Hippocrates had a saying that went, uh, let food be thy medicine and medicine thy food. Right, well, but that's true though, because, you know what I'm saying? The true medicine is called eating right <laughs> and getting the right proper vitamins and minerals in your body. You know what I'm saying? But our people don't know how to do that. Eating them they eat Doritos. Their breakfast consists of Cheetos, uh, some Fritos, with, uh, with some bacon, with some Mountain Dew. Uh, 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 yeah, McMuffin <laughs> with some sausage on it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Y'all wonder why you've got all these illnesses, you know, because you don't take care of yourself. That's why the Lord has set up a dietary law in the scriptures to tell you what you're allowed to eat and what you're not allowed to eat. That way you can live a healthy life. You can live the old age if you take care of yourself. Easily. Be strong as hell, too. You eat your greens, you're going to get strong. That's why a lot of y'all weak. You know what I'm saying? Y'all weak. Because you, you ain't getting no vitamins and nutrients in you. Eating all that bullshit food, that's why you're a weakling. You know what I mean? Yo. Yo, that's why you watch Popeye. Well, it's Popeye. He was strong as hell. He eats spinach. That's true. You eat them greens, you you get strong. You got the iron in it. It got everything in it. You got something? Oh, you like it? Mean, the spirit just took it. You too much beef and chicken in that meat is too acidic anyway. Yeah. They eat pork, though. Yeah, pork. They uh, pork, man. They got nothing good in that. They're nothing alkaline about their diet. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, water's real important too, man. They're that baby. They gonna eat that baby. They gonna farm it. Who are you looking at? I can go. We ain't gotta bring that up. We don't go too much on the health. We need to get back to uh, prophecy and death. For they be a kicking like close like righteous and going after to establish their own righteousness. Have no have not submitted themselves into the righteousness of the most high. For the higher side is the end of the law for righteousness hey. to everyone that believes it. That's it, man. It's right in front of us. Top get you that it's a $120 bond. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I got to read that again. We got I got the track. Okay. I, I didn't even hear it. That was, that was the end of it anyway. Oh, that's good. Look got some? So that's because people don't have to try and vex us like that. Like we, like it's supposed to bother us. That might make things that makes it look cool. Don't bother us. like a big party to them, man. They don't. They ain't never Not taking ready. no time out to study. Let's you know go. what I'm saying? Get no wisdom and knowledge. You just every, you just go. everything's a fucking joke. Nah, it's, there ain't no such thing. You just prove that with your scripture, right? Ain't no such thing. Hey, the, the, the scriptures no. say, of, uh, who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above her? You find that one, boys, she, she fetch a good price. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 
She got up. She probably don't see that. She might fucking You see a lot of that too, man. That's what they call That's gross. Eating booty, man. That's some disgusting shit. But anyway, like I said, we're talking about women and how these bitches don't receive no treatment. I mean, we're we, we gonna teach some women, obviously. We ain't gonna turn down nobody, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But they can't keep that simple thing, man. So how you think they're gonna stop it? They're gonna discipline themselves and not stop opening legs on these things. You, yeah, you can't just be wasting too much energy thinking they're gonna wake up, turn into a super duper Israelite princess. Chances are that's not gonna happen. I'll teach yeah, cause we'll be cool with him and stuff, but we already know ain't no women really waking up. He got a couple out there that's cool, whatever. But you don't really see them like that. This is the song of the Father. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. He didn't say fucking righteous woman. Righteous man stand in great boldness. So we're the one all woman campaign. We're the all woman campaign. They like the, the, the pinks off the, uh, what, off the, the, off the, the they got some pink garments. Right, right. Yeah, actually, if a woman did learn the truth, she ain't supposed to be teaching no way. She can teach her, uh, her her little girlfriends and stuff. But this job right here is for men only. Men only. Because the woman, hey, I got a scripture though. We get one. Because the woman's only gonna do what a man does anyway. They're really not gonna respect you till you get your power. Yeah, a woman will follow the leader. Say you have a wife up here and she's sitting right there and some nigga come up, oh shit, look up. They're looking at that ass. Like, you yeah. see bitches come up here and only be my like, friend. Like, somebody's like, yeah. So the other way around, some nigga come up here and just sit here worried, act like trying to hear words. Yeah. Some bitch that's standing right yeah. there. Nobody gonna fuck with you. Yeah. They wanna give some, they wanna some attention. Like you said, they just want some attention. Yeah, that'd be a distraction, man. That's why, like, I wanted to, when I was kicking with Barraza for many, he had women off in the class. Yeah, that's a distraction, man. You can't. The woman's supposed to be at home, not around you and all your friends. I don't want no, all y'all around my home. You watch the hate in videos, man. Somebody come to the door, all the bitches turn around to you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's just natural for a man to look straight in the ass. You know what I mean? So that causes adultery and all that. That's why the scripture in the Apocrypha says, uh, sitting out at all with another man's wife. You guys, you know what I'm saying? Because eventually it's going to lead to adultery. Because people are weak in the flesh, man. Yeah, who do they go? They go to the club. Yep. All these married bitches go to the club. Niggas buy the drinks. They don't want to try that drink. They're going to take that drink from that nigga, man. Here you go. This is Revelation 21 and 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men. It's with men. And he shall dwell with them. Cause oh, really, no because because no really a woman is just part of the man. It's like the possession, right? The he that got it, a wife that got it, a possession. So you know, so that's part of the man's uh, part of the man in his household. That's why you got something called the man of the house. Ain't no such thing as a woman of the house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's Esau's word. Yeah, right. That's why when a man gets married, what? When a woman marries a man, she takes the last name of the man, or she's supposed to. You know what I mean? Cause you know what I'm saying? That's cause she bonds with the man, she becomes part of him. You ever check it out, man, when them star bitches get married, they don't even change their last name. Yeah, that's some evil shit, man. They keep their own shit, man. Like Angel Jr. That's some disrespectful ass right. shit right there. Yep. Keep their own shit. You see the bitches on Facebook that you went to school with. They still use their maiden name. Well ain't nobody even married no more now though. Oh hell, oh, right, it's, it's right, just right, all uh right. No, it's all bullshit. There ain't no such thing. You ain't got no wife out here. Like we always, the old saying, you don't have a wife, you got your turn with a bitch. You got a, you get, you taking turns. Because your woman is, chances are in most cases, not in all cases, but in most cases. I'm just trying to be a little optimistic. They clever as hell, man. I don't want her to make feelings, right? You know, you think that bitch is sneak. You think she all good and quiet. And, yeah, yeah. You know, but that bitch come home with a different smile on her face one day, uh -oh. man. You're going to have to give her some of that potion to drink. Right. <laughs> yeah, them rotten thigh. Yeah. Rotten yeah. thigh potion. Yeah. Is that one of them? I was a coat of potion. Oh, I remember. I'll go one. Of course, I wonder what the hell you want. 
Yeah, every, yeah, your one was temporary. That's one thing brother can't give. You know, they lose their mind over a woman. Your woman's temporary. Yeah, we got this. Yeah, eight and four. Until you, old men, I call and my voice is to the sons of men. That was crazy. That was crystal clear. Not to the women. Because the well, these women ain't hearing shit you say, man. They ain't hearing shit you saying, period. I got a quick one. Psalms 110 and 3. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. And the beauty of the holiness from the womb of thy morning, thou has to do with thy youth. Yeah, a lot of hair start coming Yeah, so hey, we're not worried about it, you know what I mean? Because everything will come and be in order in due time. Like I like the scripture saying, that day seven women shall take hold of one man. You know what I mean? And that day, meaning the day of the Lord. You know, when the shit hits the fan. Way to come to me. Ezekiel 34 and 31. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men. And I am your power, said the Lord. Power. Oh, you gonna say Mary Magdalene, uh, uh, one of the, uh, one of the, the thirteenth disciple? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mary. How many times have you heard that one, dude? Right. What about Deborah, though? Where <laughs> they always do that. Charted ass bitches, man. You can't teach these bitches shit. Get them. <laughs> they always bring. They too. always bring out Deborah. Right. You heard it all right. Man, what? How many Deborahs are in the Bible? One. Well, you got a couple. You got Deborah. We can count them all in one hand. Deborah. <laughs> Susanna. Right, right. right. Judith. Ruth. Never, never. Well, Ruth. Was, she was. Uh, yeah, Judith. Uh, no, Esther. That's about it. That's it. But Mary, the okay. couple Mary, there was, a, there was some women in the New Testament. Paul, Paul gave some shout outs to a few. Get that women. Ecclesiastes. Oh, I got that. What's that? What's that? Uh, there's a couple women Paul gave shout outs out to. But there's not a whole lot of them, though. You know what I mean? You're wasting your time. We learn it through it. We learn We go through experience, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This truth, man. We were trying to teach women and every, yeah. every fucking body. We just knew it. And we were convinced they can get it. No. No. We learn through experience. Yeah, we can only say some shit to a woman, man. Yeah, we know how to talk to them now. Right. Seriously, how many women are you going to say um, um, from this day on, don't open your legs to a woman? They ain't going to hear that. No, no, no. They're not going to have the whole thing about the multiple wives, though. Right. A man can deal with more than one woman. Yeah. And they're going to have it. And they going to have it. Hey, that's why the scripture uh, in the Apocrypha says, uh, what about, uh, it's a shame. For a woman is uh, jealous of another woman, you know, something like that. Because most women, they get jealous over that other woman. You know what I mean? And this is the blueprint on how you teach this word, man. How you conduct yourself when you're out there. Yeah. Yeah. East, way, north, high, west, and north, high, and Fenway. Yeah, that's the blueprint. Hey, hey, when you buy a new car, it comes with an instruction manual. <laughs> So we think this is, yeah, we think as hell. This is our own owner's manual right here for our vehicle. But this is our vehicle right here for this planet, this this realm. <laughs> this one. <laughs> Everything, you know, you gotta follow the instructions. Man. They, they give you them cheat codes too. We got cheat codes. <laughs> yeah, cheat. That's some cheat codes. And, and, you know, I mean, you learn, like when you read a book of Proverbs, man, that's there for your learning, man. If you apply that to your everyday life, you'd be surprised how, how good that works. What did you look for the woman? I think it's in 25, man. No, actually, I forget. I can look, I can look it up on my phone. Okay. Bring it up. Okay, so I'm gonna This is on 25 and 13. 12, I'm The fear of the Lord is the beginning of his love, and faith is the beginning of the of pleading unto him. Give me any plague but the plague of the heart, and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. So the Lord. So the, uh, the boss was saying, man, hit me with a heart attack, but I don't want to do that.
So that would be as woman gonna give you a heart attack anyway. She gonna give you a stroke and a heart attack. Yeah, uh, drag is a sport. That's crazy. I've experienced it, man. Seriously, man. Cause my my old woman, that was uh, my old wife. She was crazy as hell. I be pray. I, nowadays, I praise the Lord that she ain't with me no more. Yeah, she's fucking evil, bro. That was a blessing when, the, cause a lot of brothers that really destroy their spirit when they lose their wife because they teaching the Bible or whatever. I praise the Lord. That was beautiful. Now I'm free as a bird. What's the saying? With the Yeah. It actually is nothing better than being single anyway. Out in this kingdom that we living in, it's best just to be single. And to go deal with your little midnight snacks. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you shouldn't be like that. I mean, you should try to... If you get what I'm saying, but you know, the scripture said once you lay with a woman, you're not supposed to leave her or whatever, right? You mean leave her? You just leave her? You know what I mean? It's just hard. It's a, it's a tough deal that we got out here. Fine. But in your picture, but the affliction from them that hate me, and that's what they want, they hate you. They hate that you're above them. They hate you hate order. You. They hate all that about you. They hate that you want, they hate that you bend them over. They want to bend you over. A lot of them let them do that too. Oh yeah, oh my goodness. You're strapping it on. Oh, my goodness. I remember a conversation the day about something. I was talking about a cream party, man. All right, let me go. We don't want these motherfuckers. It's crazy. Well, yeah, a nephew told us about it. He did a cream party. No, Lord, so he's out. He, he's in the spiritual world now. He he, he, yeah, he ate some. He told, he had told us. He's like, I did that, though. I was eating a nut, though. He said it. He said him and his dude tag teamed his girl. And he, and he did it. That's too much for the camera, but. He said he ate the cream pie. The nephew was gutter. He was gutter. Yeah, he, he was a murderer. No, nah, he's straight. You ain't even supposed to be looking at another man's nakedness. So these niggas love being in the same room with a bitch, man, and a nigga, man. Two, three, four, four niggas at the same fucking time. That's foul. Hey, that's a popular thing with Jake. Jake loved to run the train on these women. Like, they be all one in each one of, that's gross, but they be one in each one of the holes or touching each other. That's gay as fuck, man. That's a fact. That's, a, that's some faggot shit. That, that's straight up faggot shit. There is no head above the head of the serpent. And there is no wrath above the wrath of the enemy. And who is the enemy who you refer to? The woman. The Israelite woman. The other nation's women in order, ain't they? They are in order. The Chinese woman, they'll cook for you. You know what I'm saying? They'll do your laundry, iron your clothes. They yeah. love you long time. They're going to love you a long time. Oh, yeah. They love you a long time. They was just writing better, right? Yeah, right, right, right. I have rather dwell with a lion. This is what you call it. I have rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. The wickedness of a woman changes her face. You can tell by looking at her countenance. Yeah, they're what they call they bipolar. Yep. They, they one man, they all sweet. Next man, they're, they're fucking crazy as hell. <laughs> Next thing you know, all your dishes are shattered. Windows are all busted out. <laughs> she don't call the cops on you. Punched herself. You know, she, she slammed her head against the wall and said you hit her. <laughs> Crazy, That's how they get you, bro. My, my little sister was good for that, bro. She was straight to start punching herself and call the cops. Me and my sister. These bitches go heat some oil up. <laughs> they come down to the way. Don't strike them. Oh, yeah, they hit your ass with some hot oil. Oh, What's up, Logan? You strike my sisters. Damn. They come, they come. My sisters. I see them stab niggas and everything. Those are crazy bitches, man. They still crazy. She was the present thing. Oh, 50 day fitness, man. Holy shit, I'm still running the street. Um, <laughs> the wickedness of a woman changes her face and darkens her countenance like a sackcloth. Like that day she come home, you see the look on her face, you gotta talk. You gotta talk. Yeah, because the spirit lets you know when a woman cheating on you. I don't think we get it wrong. Oh, that too, yeah. I think, I think we gotta separate. <laughs> we need some time apart. I love it, man. And so these dudes be good with that. They be like, yeah, we just having some time apart. Yeah, yeah. A time apart means she fucking somebody she, else for a minute. She's she taking a break from your dick to get another one. Then she gonna come back to you and you gonna take it? This whole cycle repeats itself. Over and over. I don't, man. <laughs> these goddamn bitches. These goddamn bitches. Yeah, I don't want no woman that done have some other nut up in there coming back to me, man. I'm sorry. That's nasty. Sperm wars. That's faggot shit. You know what I'm saying? New transformers. Sperm wars. 
And that could, yeah, that could be a whole. Man, that, that could be a running show to go on for season after yeah, season. That'd be some bad shit. Sperm Wars. People walk around with spermosaurus on their shirt, <laughs> with a cape on it and shit. <laughs> My favorite sperm. My favorite sperm is uh, is blocker sperm. The one with the blockhead, the, the, the sperm that stays shaped square. He looked like he looked like an office alignment. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Look at And Take plane. Take plane. Take plane. That's it. Take plane. I'll take plane. That look like. I'm riding my buddy. Got to run around a cheddar. What's up, Jason? Take care, man. Probably so. She feeds you she, too she, much. She'd be happy you. She got a man. Yeah. They really, that's what, you know, some of these women are, that's what they're good for, though. Call, call, call. The woman is good for that, though, because yeah, for taking care of you and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? They probably, you know, like, group them, they probably out here looking like truck drivers. <laughs> you know, but they got that spirit, you know what I mean? They probably got that spirit, though. The Lord protecting them. Yeah, they, remember, we under curses, man. Yeah. Women was ugly, man. They oh, that's true. Yeah, hey, you don't think about that, huh? Right, right. That's why you can't judge people by appearance. <laughs> right. You can't judge that outward appearance. Yeah. Just because an ugly bitch is ugly as hell, hey, she might be the coolest woman ever. Yep. Talk to her home. That bitch will sit down with you and drink. Yep. I'm going to be no bitch with you. Some deceitfulness. Here we go. Um, her husband shall sit among his neighbor, and when he heareth it, shall sign bitterly. He'll sign bitterly. This is bitch, yeah. <laughs> Shame on his face like that. That's how you be when you like Damn. you see it every time you hanging out with your friends or whatever. They always talk about your wife talk, man, that bitch, man, this bitch crazy again, man. <laughs> bitch done fucking flatted all my tires. Right, Stabbed right. all my tires. Check it out. I didn't go though, but my wife was talking to her mom. And, uh, and then she, my wife told me, she was like, uh, Michelle's mom told me uh, that uh, when, when her husband walked away, she, cause she said it to my wife. She was like, "I'm so glad he's gone. You know, I couldn't stand being around him." You know? I was like, "Wow, man." Yeah, she said that. She was like, "Yeah." You know. <laughs> and these people got it going on, man. They got money. They didn't come to them, you know what I'm saying? But she walked off. And she said to my wife, ain't she so glad that she ain't just talking like the love in their ear? I was like, no. Right, right. That's evil, man. That's how they all do it, though. Yeah. This is just the Saturday, too. It's a scripture. Ezekiel says, mother, daughter, mother. Oh, the proverb. Let me get that real quick. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's a proverb. I got a quick one. As the mother, so is the daughter, or some shit like that. I got a quick precept while you get that. Ecclesiastic is 26 and 6. But a grief of heart and sorrow is a woman that is jealous over another woman. You found it. And a scourge of the tongue which communicates with all. Yeah. So, you know, you these women, they, they can act like they be cool with you got more than one woman. They get jealous and separated and beat her ass. You see that two women love fighting on the bed, don't they? Hey, hey, beat the shit out of each other over it, man. Them world star videos pop up constantly. Oh, yeah? World star, world star. Now, yeah, he fucks, he fucks, he fucks. Just here in Columbus, a bitch of, uh, black, blew a bitch away up in Easton. Hey. Over a man. Hey, they crazy, Up man. in Easton. Oh, I see a video of this bitch. Let me do a search. I remember that one video when that uh, when that woman cheated on that one one dude, and he went up in the hair salon and shot the bitch and killed her. You didn't kill nobody else. It just her. 
there was a car video that was there. No, it was a it was a two dog. There's a lot of them there. There's a lot of them. Oh, six, Ezekiel 16 and 44. Behold, everyone that uses Proverbs shall use this proverb against thee, saying, As is the mother, so is the daughter. Oh, there you go. So mama ho, everything that came out come out between the legs is gonna be a hoe. They, they go back more than just one generation. They go back multiple generations Grandma now. Beholds, you know, yep, grandma's. Grandma's with the, what you call the, uh, the yoga pants? Yeah, grandma yoga drank an O.E. smoking blunts and all that. Sniffing pills. You know what I'm saying? Grandma crazy nowadays. Because now grandma grew up with Tupac and all that. <laughs> you know, because they done had a baby. But she, the first baby came out when she was 13, 14. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we see some of the grandmas over there at Fairgate, boy. Oh, crazy ass boy over there. Yeah, they be out there old as hell, still partying, you know what I mean? My sister's name in fact pays herself. It's Cash Meter. And her daughter. Well, let me show you. This is a book I'll I don't want to see this shit. And her daughter is uh <laughs> Mo Mocha. Her daughter is Mocha. But my sister's cashmere. Backpage, you're on backpage right now. You can get you. I ain't never went on backpage before. I'm gonna go, go check that <laughs> I out. I live on backpage, go use some fun. Yeah, backpage is the shit, man. Hit and run. That's what you call it, hit and run. run. Hit and run. Gotta be a women. Sounds scary. I'm making a good video on these godly women. <laughs> nah, I want. I, I, we got. We got to stop talking about women like that. I ain't done with. You. Okay. <laughs> I ain't done with. I ain't you. arguing with you. <laughs> oh, her, her husband shall sit among his neighbors, and when he hears it, it shall it shall sign bitterly. Hey, that's good. That's the spirit though, because we ain't made a video about women in a man, long time. It's been man. a long time, man. That's right. That's right. It's been a long time. So the spirit got us right home. Yeah, because back in the day, the spirit had us like a lot of times. We went. You know what I mean? It's been a minute. That dragon came out here. Yep. That dragon. Remember that dragon? That was trying to cause division. Yep. That dragon. All wickedness. Dragon, that was that. All yeah, wickedness did. is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Yep. That's why with women to go back to the Garden of the Eden. She's the one who made a deal with the serpent. You know what I'm saying? She's in allegiance with the snake. He Turn the heathen like that. Turn the heathen like that. Yeah, look, I've been going to that little corner store over there in the bottoms, over there off of, uh, right over there off of Sullivan. Oh, there's a bunch of them over there. And you see all our women be going up in there because they can't afford cigarettes or whatever. And I, and I seen it with my own eyes. And dude, she was like, I need some cigarettes. She was like, give me a blow job. And he, that's what he said. And he was like working out deals with these women so they can get cigarettes and beer. They go in there, he has sex with them. And he gives them cigarettes and beer and stuff. And he, they even sell, I ain't gonna say all that, but they sell shit out of there. Yeah. Well, them Arabs don't care. They're nasty and filthy anyway. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he said it's lubricant to them. Uncircumcised heathens. That's what they are, bro. Yeah, they're literally uncircumcised heathens. You know what I'm saying? And call them a bitch the uncircumcised heathen. Yeah, that's true, man. These curse words. Because you got them up in every last one of our neighborhoods taking advantage of our people, man. Every, Almost every store you go to in the in the ghetto or in the neighborhood is all these heathens up in the store. Take, I mean, some of them might be Jake's, but a lot of them is some heathens in there taking advantage of us, man. Some rotten meat. Up there having sex with our women. You know what I'm saying? So go there, give him a blowjob so, oh, for a pack of Newports. Well, Actually, it's, it's, well, he ain't gonna get a whole pack for that. She'll get a couple of Lucy's. You know what I mean? Cause you know, them heathens, bro, they, they drive a hard bargain. They ain't trying to show you uh, no kindness, show you no mercy. And mer a heathen is merciless. You know what I'm saying? Living life. They said 
the most by the they don't know the crazy stuff. They don't know the corner stores. Hey, there's a corner stores. Yeah. Jewelry store. Jewelry store. Everything in our neighborhood. They show that cheap ass too. We can't even put, we can't even put on a show these days without going to the white man for you know what I'm saying some type of assistance or building to rent from them. You know what I mean? Yeah. One of all things. That's everything. I was coming back in the day, they used to have, you know what I'm saying, everything for themselves. Their yeah. Their own theaters, their own, you know what I'm saying, libraries, their own. There, there's That's some theaters, place. right, what's that, on Front Street? With that, that old theater? I think they just opened it back yeah, up, didn't it? Long. But that, yeah, Long Street, yeah, Long. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That used to be real nice back in the day. I just seen a story in the news, uh, well, a couple days ago, it came, I think it was New York. It, uh, a bunch of the Chinese heathens, they got caught uh, uh, putting dog meat in the food. Cause when you go to the, I, don't be going to no Chinese restaurant. Y'all actually eat some dog meat. They put, they cooking every, they cooking pigeons. They got a pigeon trap out back. They catching pigeons and cooking it, telling you it's chicken. You know what I'm saying? Eat, they cook, selling y'all rats, chickens, dogs, cats. Oh, that's just, they can call anything chicken and get away with it. You know what I mean? That's how them heathens do you. You put sauce on the milk, okay? Oh, you throw that that soy sauce on there, y'all eat it right up. You know what I'm saying? You give it a name, so, barbecue. Yeah, barbecue. <laughs> Just name it something. But you can't trust these heathen nations, man. They just sit waiting to devour you, take advantage of you, and use you. <laughs> what kind of <laughs> uh, What's up, homie? It's the truth, ain't it? Now your boy waved at us. I saw him the other day down by your job. He was dressing his normal work. Day clothes, bro. Gay as hell. So you want to talk about everything look like I know he won't get no circulation, man. It was the funny shit. Tight as fuck, huh? Everything. I was crying laughing, man. He must be thinking about us. This is Ezekiel 4 and Tom. This is Ezekiel 4 and 13. And the Lord said, even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles with our own And that, that's, that's a, a fulfillment of that right there. The food's the fact, because you don't know what's in that food that you eat. You know what I'm saying? Even, even, even all these, you know all these, right? All these foods real cheap. All these got caught uh, uh, selling horse meat. Horse they, they said the, the meat lasagna was a bur uh, what uh, beef, but it was actually horse meat. It tested positive for horse DNA. Hey, Burger King uh, tested positive for horse DNA. I think one restaurant tested positive for human DNA. It was the McDonald's one. They had human DNA in the meat. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. I got a flat tire on my bike. You got this on Bluetooth? This shit comes in handy, man. It's just like the same thing back in the 80s. Wait, remember the 80s? We had the boombox? Take you about what 10 C batteries? That motherfucker is huge, dude. Or he has a D battery. Boy. It ended last for like an hour. Cost you. Yeah. All that music. Have you had the mechanic? The radio ran for Yeah, you use the radio, yeah. I like them old boom boxes though, man. Vintage, but those things nice. Big ass speakers on them. A lot of that stuff they're making out of junk. Then said I, O Lord, power, behold, my soul hath not been. For from my youth up, even unto now, have I not eaten of that which defileth of itself, or is torn in pieces, neither came there abominable flesh into my mouth. And he said unto me, Lo, I have given thee cows for man, and thou shalt prepare thy bread as it is. So that's that bullshit, like you say that. 
they test positive. The food test positive. Human DNA, shit, shit. Hell, Japan, the perfected the skill of extracting proteins out of shit out of the sewers to make steaks. Yeah, they take yeah, the turd shit steaks. Yep, shit, natural protein. Over there in the these scientists is bad, man. They can extract. Over there in the UK, they had a big scare. Like a couple weeks ago, that uh, all the Coca, a lot of the Coca Cola had uh, shit in the Coca Cola. Shit. Uh, what about that one? Don't drink, don't drink that, shit in that one story it was in the news again about uh, somebody found a dead rat in a Coke bottle, right? Oh, they somebody pulled a dead rat out of Kentucky Fried Chicken. They pulled that mother out and hit that bitch. They fried it, you know. They fried it, you know. About to get paid too, man. Cause you don't know that rat can be coke. Rat can have all kinds of disease. You know? Yeah. But that's what the Jews, the lying Jews said, man, after they snatched the babies and drained their blood, mixed the blood with the, their, their, their unwholesome, and then they disposed of the bodies by like, taking the two slaughterhouses. And he said McDonald's is one of the most And McDonald's the one that tested the positive for the human uh, the DNA. People are eating. People are eating. And that's the only way this devil can say to the Lord, oh, look at your people, a cannibal, drink the blood, you know what I'm saying? But they don't even know the Lord. They can't fool the Lord, man. They can't fool the Lord, man. This the Amalek ain't no joke, man. That's a fool, man. They say they are children of fools. Job, the book of Job said they are children of fools. So let me see a fool raise a righteous child, man. Motherfucking child. They got wisdom out of the These motherfuckers are cannibals, man. Who am I at? Moreover, he said unto me, son of man, no, I will break the staff of bread, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care, and they shall drink water by measure, and with astonishment, they sell you the good ass water. And they'll sell you the motherfuckers out the machine for a fucking dollar fifty. Yeah, you can get a whole, like, a 24 pack or something for like a few dollars. They be waxing you. Uh, water, river going through it. A well. You grow your own shit, you know what I mean? You grow, you raise your own cattle. When you go to the grocery store, they give you a loaf of bread for two fifty. dollars some <laughs> bullshit ass bread, <laughs> too. Bread. Oh, ragged ass bread. Bread slices so thin, you know, you can see through it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and plus, it's, it's, on, it's, it's the bread still not so There's no... There's nothing in it. What you uh, They don't have that... Uh, that affect the health of the shit that's on the body. You know what I mean? Like, it's supposed to help you digest these Oh, yeah, it's got it's the, the... Oh, yeah, all that. The fibers. Yeah, fiber. The fiber. It makes you... The fiber. Yeah, it helps you, uh, shit. They always tell that you like the old people, they always get you gotta eat your fiber. They find, they find out now that being gluten-free is for the people. That's that new trend. Yeah, they can. Yeah, it's called the people. I know that shit's bread is good for you, man. They try to say it's bad. I mean, I know it makes you fat, too, though. If you eat too much bread, you're going to get fat. I know that. But, hey, I love this bread. I ain't going to lie. I got, I got a precept for you. Mark 16 and 18. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. It shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover them. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, like the, if you drink water straight out the sink, they got fluoride in. Like, hell, you don't know what's in that bottle water, do you? There's a lot of that's just filtered sink water, you know what I mean? They might tell you it's spring water. You see these springs around here? Where are all these springs at they get all this water from? The purified. Yeah, they put the mountain on. You know that shit they cover no mountain. There. That shit like, came out the creek. Like they got they got Esau at the top of the mountain holding the water up there. Like, <laughs> drips in there. Right, right. Hey, get the fuck out of here. There are some though you can pay for that deal. Oh yeah, some that's good some shit. Yeah, you get that from the health store the world. But you can taste it. Really? That's, well I hear they say distilled's supposed to be what well, distilled is 100 percent h 20 It's when you take the water and you evaporate it and then it comes back, but it don't got nothing in it but water. Yeah. It's good to switch your waters up, though. You know what I mean? The water is different. Yeah. Yeah, because... Yeah, because distilled water is kind of like... Uh, As a matter of fact, you did some work on research in that video. They got videos on YouTube where they compare all the water. I'm going to buy the thing, though. So I can make this water. I can buy the bottle. Oh, yeah? Keep on bottles. Or, you know, the main thing, too, though, is just... 
Los I, Santos came down one. I got out the uh I got out of the habit. You know, I was in the habit for a minute putting the line, the line on my tumor. The tumor in the line. And the line comes up. Yeah, yeah. You know, I get lazy. Yeah. That lines be expensive too, though, man. Was it a water distiller? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. It's still water. Yeah. I seen, I was thinking about buying, I ain't never got no money. Spray on the dough, shake it up. And I heard too though, like if, when you drink any water, like if you buy a bottle of water from the store, it's good to shake it up and stuff when you drink. You ever hear that? Just shake your water up before you're stirred. Right, right, right. Get the bubbles. Yeah, it's like when you drink water out of a river, you want to get out of the moving water. It's got green shit on the top. Lilies and shit that's just sitting there. Maggots and mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that human He's just walking around. Hey, you gotta feed the poor. What we do? Do we eat, man? What do we eat? Do y'all try to suck with us? They must live right around the corner, then. Probably. They probably live in one of them little sweets, man. Yeah, they got money. They got money. Them motherfuckers look good. Look as goofy as hell. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's that's crazy, man. They jakes though. But example how these evil mice live, you can see some of that jake. She just graduated from Walton from Mercer School, right? Her grandparents paid 80 something G's cash for her to do both of And now they're paying for her little sister to go to this is, They got money, man. That's crazy, man. They paid cash. They paid cash. Wow. Cash. When they were little, man, ever since they were born, they came right here and put money away. Every time they got paid for it, they would make it. That's a lot of fucking money. That's a lot of fucking money. That's a whole lot of money. Fuck all that with all that money, you can just live on that money. Just try to live off the interest. If you ain't got a high price living. Go buy something for cheap and sell it. See, I'm a, I'm a, what you call, I'm probably making this. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm very low maintenance. <laughs> right, right. I'm, I can, I can adapt though. I'm you just, already know. Yeah, that. you already know. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm the guy. I am. I'm high maintenance. I am, man. I'm the guy. I don't pay retail for nothing. Right. I'm, I'm gonna find the cheapest deal possible. Oh, for real. For real. I'll be on Craigslist. I'll be on uh, Facebook buy and sell. Yeah. You fuck with it. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll trash pick. I don't give a fuck. I see something on the curb. I'm taking it, son. Yeah. I'm but taking you can fix it. Shit. I don't give a fuck. You can fix shit. I'll take it out the trash and then sell it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You got some. One time he had me out in the apartments, man, the dumpster. <laughs> man, that dumpster was the I gold didn't give mine. A fuck, though. It was the gold mine, yeah, for bro. For real, for real. People always get kicked out, right? Man, we. I, so many people. I, I could have opened up a furniture store with all the furniture I got. I had tables, chairs. I got silverware for days. I'm telling you, I'm like, I'm like the uh, computer shit. I'm like a white Sanford. Yeah. I'm like Fred Sanford. Right? You should see my room. <laughs> I, got, I got somebody. I got shit stacked to the ceiling. That's crazy. That's crazy. A bunch of junk. But we live in the camp too. Man. You gonna see he's on that shit. Hell no. He get all his shit brand new. He's picky with his junk too. This junk is down there brand new. This is such a little dark thing. <laughs> Search said I have to buy brand new shit. Is that a joke? 
I don't even tell me women what I even do. I don't. I don't. Because once you start talking about the Bible, man, you know, say goodbye to that woman. Man, don't be all upset. Yeah, hey, what's up, man? Uh, I'm talking. I've been seeing him since we've been hit this one. For real? I've been seeing him since we've been hit this one. That's my dude. He look like a hobbit. <laughs> he had been killing the photo with him. Yeah, we noticed that though. Like you, if you try to like y'all watching the video, if you trying to get some pussy though. <laughs> reading the scriptures ain't is gonna do it. That's a good way to lose a woman. Yeah, if you want to get rid of a bitch. Yeah, just start hitting with the scriptures. <laughs> that get rid of her real quick, boy. If you got that one, you get tired. Yeah, she so gonna. Yeah, well, yeah, with your luck though, that woman would probably listen to. You. You know how the Lord does it. Yeah, the Lord is very mysterious. <laughs> the Lord is the ultimate jokester, man. You should see some of the hoes you done sent my way. And I just laugh. <laughs> Because the Lord will play some jokes on you, man. The Lord will you can seriously fuck with you. <laughs> you already know. He's going to send them temptations at you, man. He's on his dog. I already know. I believe it. I already know. It happens again and again. It, what it usually entails is usually the Lord going to send a fine ass woman your way, and he's going to let you know that she has a man. That's what's going to happen. That's what keeps happening to me too. It happens all the time. <laughs> Every time you, uh, a fine ass woman's trying to deal with you, she she end up telling you she got a man. Oh, oh, man. oh that's, man. That's just the Lord testing you. Yeah, that's the Lord testing you. Yeah, you got custom bitches out, man. That that shit ain't that shit ain't cool. A lot of it, the Lord's testing you uh, to see how strong you are in the spirit, man. I've been working out back in the day, man. I've destroyed it. <laughs> in the gym. Destroyed. Oh yes. Now I live in he used to be big as fuck too. Oh yeah. He was big as hell back in the day. Oh, boy, he was more than the fuck up. Man. What got destroyed? Micah 7 and 5. Curse ye not in a friend, put ye not confidence in God. Keep the doors in your mouth from her that life I was to do you. Yep. Yeah, so yeah, you can't be you can't be telling a woman everything, man. She's on a need to know basis. You know I've seen some fools, man, they get paid, they get that check straight to the bitch, man. Yeah, that's like the woman in charge of the finance. That's not a good idea. There's a similar that's one in uh, Proverbs 30 or something. I need to hold that, man. Proverbs 30, uh, I can get that one. Man, I love this Bible, man. It's the best. I used to have one. I had a black one back in the day. This is Sharat 8, not Sharat. This is Sharat 9, not in Sharat 1, 22. Be not jealous over the wife of thy bosom, and teach her not an evil lesson against thyself. Give not thy soul unto a woman to set her foot upon thy substance. Right, because, yeah. You smoke, cause that's why it's called man in the house. You supposed to be the man in the house. You the one that's supposed to be running the shit. You know what I mean? In charge of the money. That's crazy, man. You ain't never hear the old saying, "Step up and be a man." 